Hi there. How are you today? Feeling a little stressed out? Okay. Well, I'm Dr. Lolo. I'll be able to help you out today. Looks like you are coming in for a headache. Okay. No problem. I can definitely try and help you out with that and see what's going on. And can I get your um, first and last name? Okay. Perfect. And good. What's your address? Street or drive? Okay. Perfect. And have you come in for headaches before? Okay. Have these been kind of an ongoing thing or are they kind of um, are they more just acute or are they kind of chronic? Do you have like a family history of headaches or migraines? Okay. And how long do they usually last? Okay. Do you do anything to try and make them feel better? What's your kind of diet and exercise like? All right. Now, is there any other part of your body um, that hurts or that you've gotten injured in the past? Okay. Kind of on your back. Okay. And how long ago did that happen? Okay. 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 So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take your vitals real quick. Um, this will kind of rule out to see if there are any other underlying causes to your headaches. Okay, so maybe high blood pressure, maybe there's an infection, or it might just be stress. So um, we'll see if we can do. I'm just going to wear my gloves in case because I won't be needing to touch your face just a little bit. Have you taken any medication for your headaches before? Okay. Okay. Heart right here. Okay. Let me check the back. All right, and a couple deep breaths for me, please. Good. Good. Okay. And another one, please. Good. 
and one more. Alright, thank you. Okay. Just take your temperature real quick. You just open your mouth, please. right there under your tongue. Perfect. Um, I'll ask you after you're done. Good. Okay. Let me see here. Okay. Actually seems about normal. Just really good to see. Heart rate seemed pretty good. How much pain are you in right now? So I was gonna ask. Okay. okay. And where on your head is it usually hurting? your headaches usually in that location. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right. Now, I also wanted to just look in your eyes real quick. Is that going to be too bright for you? Be okay? Okay. So just let me know at any time I can stop. I know people have even a little bit of a headache. They can kind of um, throw off their vision just a little bit. Okay? So yeah, just look at me real quick. I'll just, I'll just look gently in your eye here. Okay? Just look at Doesn't hurt too bad. Okay, that's good. Okay. Are you um, staring at a screen a lot every day? Um, with your opposite, like your occupation or even your phone? Okay. Sure. Okay. Well, it's sounding like it could be a stress headache or tension headache. A lot of those headaches are usually about right here because let's say when we're straining to look at our phone we always kind of pinch our eyebrows a little bit or most of our focus is since it's on our eyes um, could be straining this little bit of muscle. Um, the other thing too since you said that you did have a back injury or kind of you know you fell that that also could be causing it um, and maybe there was it was a little bit worse than um, it kind of led on because basically every part of your body is connected. So if you have something hurting in that area, that it could be linked to your headaches as well. Okay, the next thing I want to do is just give you some aromatherapy. I have some lavender that you'll be able to try out. That is always a nice way to kind of calm your nervous system down and release any tension. Okay? The next thing I want to do is just kind of massage parts of your head and just kind of see if there is any inflammation as well. And then I might be able to kind of um, rub your um, shoulder right here or your other shoulder and see if that can help relieve any. Another thing that I will suggest is um, maybe going to a chiropractor just for maybe one or two sessions, um, unless they say otherwise. And then another thing that I definitely suggest is um, eating more anti-inflammatory foods. I know that dropping grain out of your diet, I know it's really difficult. Um, you can definitely lower some of those 
inflammatory symptoms and I know that a lot of people have had success with um, relieving their chronic headaches by relieving you know even just gluten or grain entirely out of their diet so you might want to look into that a little bit more and see if maybe that's something for you or you could even just try it out for um, a week of course you probably won't see results until about a month so um, yeah definitely suggest that why don't I go ahead and get a little closer to you though and then I'm going to just start feeling around on your face here okay spot right here on the side. Feel just just on the side right there. Massage each side of your head here. Just going to massage your shoulders here. Okay. Does that feel a little bit better? Okay. Good. Very good. I want to just let you have some of that aromatherapy. I have a little vial of it right here. Okay. And I don't want you to take like a um, like a forced inhale in. I just want you to breathe naturally, okay? And just kind of let the scent um, come into your nostrils just gently. Alright? Okay, so just hold it right here. Naturally breathe in and out. Good. It's just nice. Good. Just in and out. Perfect. Good. Good. Just in and out. Perfect. Yes, you can close your eyes. the cup. 
One more. Now I want just massage your temple on one side here, okay. Did that seem to help at all? Just maybe a little bit. Okay. Good. I'm just going to Press. I'm just going to be pressing right over here since it is um, aimed right here on your face. Try and push, push that tension away. all that I can do for you today. Okay, so the next thing I want you to do, since light doesn't bother your eyes too much, I still want you to try and rest and give them a little bit of darkness. Another thing I'd like you to do is to take some Motrin or just Ibuprofen, whichever you like the most. So those are always good options. Definitely look into those inflammatory, anti-inflammatory foods. Um, they should definitely help. Um, you can have different fruits or veggies, unless you do have sensitivity to any of those. Definitely just maybe research um, some of those and just try them out for just a couple of meals, see if they do help. Um, your gut is also connected, of course, to your brain, so maybe there's something um, in your intestines that are kind of triggering you to have these headaches. So maybe it could also be coffee or tea. Um, you never know, maybe the caffeine is bothering you and you don't really, aren't really sure what's triggering it. Um, definitely something that could be inflammatory. Okay, so we want to try and decrease um, that inflammation as much as possible. So, um, yeah, even just look up videos on YouTube or um, just searching on Google. It's always a good idea. So I definitely suggest that. Okay? Okay, perfect. Do you have any other questions for me before I release you? If they do get worse, of course, come in, because then we're going to probably want to um, schedule a CAT scan, okay? Or if it's even worse, uh, maybe an MRI, um, possibly, to see if maybe there's an onset, you know, aneurysm or something like that. But um, since they haven't been extremely chronic, they're more just acute every now and then, then I want to be too worried. Um, but yeah, of course, if it's certainly gets worse, come back in, and we'll be able to maybe look into that a little bit more in depth to see if there is something more serious. Um, but I would definitely start with diet. Seems like your exercise is good. Um, and then maybe some more aromatherapy. If there's honestly any scent that makes you feel better, I highly suggest that you use it. Because I always feel like a scent with some kind of good um, event or memory is always um, nice for um, stress relief. Okay. Okay. Perfect. All right. 
so I'm gonna release you now. You are all good to go, okay? And you'll be able to pick up, I'll give you some um, ibuprofen while you get it go out, um, just so you don't have to worry about it right now, so you can hopefully get some of that um, relief um, a little bit quicker, okay? Okay, awesome. Well, thank you for coming in. I'm glad that we were able to help a little bit. Okay, and of course, if anything gets worse, just let us know. Wonderful. Okay, we have a beautiful day. Thank you for coming in. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Mm -hmm.